everyone. Welcome to your latest Salem weather update brought to you as a joint production between Salem SCTV 17, Salem School District Media, Salem Blue Devils TV, and Salem High School Science Department. I'm Earth Science teacher and meteorologist Toby Fusco. Hard to believe it is mid-February and we are only talking about the second major winter storm. And even this storm doesn't look like that big of a storm compared to years past. Winter storm watches have been already issued for northern New England and these will likely be upgraded as the storm gets closer to winter storm warnings. This storm has made its mark as it's traveled east across the United States. It has broken numerous records across the Pacific Northwest. The snowy is February, February on record in Seattle, Washington. It has also led to many accidents along major roadways and a few deaths in the Midwest. It has lost much of its energy west of us. Nevertheless, the storm named Winter Storm Maya by the Weather Channel will impact our area Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday morning. Though named after the same ancient civilization that predicted the end of the world would occur in 2012, this should not be an earth-shattering doomsday event. Sorry, Mayans, maybe next time. If we look out over Salem currently, you can see there's not much in the way of uh, cloud cover, cold, typical February day. And if we uh, jump into what tomorrow looks like, it'll look a lot different than today. Uh, Tuesday will bring cloudy and cold temperatures uh, in the mid-teens slowly increasing through the morning hours. Winds will be blustery out of the northeast. The morning hours should be free of any precipitation. Snow will begin from southwestern New Hampshire spreading northeastward through the late morning and afternoon hours. The snow should begin by 2, 12 to 2 p.m. in the Salem area and 2 to 3 p.m. in the Lakes region of New Hampshire and a little bit later in Maine. Snow will be moderate to heavy through the late afternoon, evening and overnight hours. Some intense bands of snow could pivot in from the center of low pressure on either side of midnight. As with every storm this season, there is the possibility for warm air to be incorporated into the storm at mid-levels of the atmosphere. A changeover to sleet is likely for most of the state of New Hampshire. Freezing rain is possible south and east of Manchester, extending northeast into coastal Maine. There is even a chance for a changeover to cold rain around the Wednesday morning commute. So if we look at 1 p.m. tomorrow, you can see that weather-wise, there's not much in the way of anything occurring. The storm itself is still advancing. If we look six hours later, this is when the storm should actually be basically on top of us by 7 p.m. And you can see that there's widespread snow across most of New England. You can see the pink and purple being indicated here, which is mixed precipitation and a pretty big shield of green indicating rain. By 1 a.m., you will start to see more in the way of blue overspreading New England. You can also see across the um, southern New Hampshire area, darker blues indicating intense bands of precipitation. Many of the models are picking, picking up on this. We could be looking at snowfall rates of one to three inches per hour, perhaps. And this is when the majority of the precipitation should actually occur and accumulate. By 7 a.m., six hours later, we will have an area of low pressure that actually has formed off Cape Ann, off the New Hampshire beaches, energy being transferred from this storm here over uh, Quebec and Ontario to the one off of our coast. You can also see that this particular model is indicating that there could be some rain at the 7 a.m. mark. Many of the models are indicating the temperatures should still be pretty cold, so the rain that's being indicated here could be an overestimate. It could be a cold, sloppy snow that's falling across most of southern New England, um, but there is also that possibility for rain as well. And by 1 p.m., the storm is basically heading out into the Gulf of Maine. You can see some blue wrapped around the storm itself. This should be light precip uh, precipitation, more showery than anything else. Could deposit another inch or two of snow on top of the um, previous snowpack, sleet, freezing rain, and all the other uh, precip that we'll have at that point. Okay, so moving on to the timing now, if we look at the... Um, storm itself. Uh, it's a fast mover. It'll impact New England for about 24 to 36 hours. The type of precipitation is going to be starting as all snow due to the cold temperatures at the start. Uh, there will be a fluff factor with the snow allowing, the, allowing it to accumulate and pile up quickly. The Monadnock region of New Hampshire extending through the lakes region of New Hampshire and interior Maine uh, will remain all snow. The 
coastal plain of New Hampshire and Maine will likely mix with sleet and freezing rain, limiting snowfall amounts. The beaches of New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Maine, and areas south of 128 in Massachusetts are the most likely to see a switch over to rain. In terms of the hazards with this storm, Tuesday evening looks particularly treacherous with snow-covered roads. Uh, Wednesday morning could also be impacted uh, depending on how quickly crews are out removing the snow. Plus, there could be some ice accumulation in saturated snow from whatever rain falls as well. Um, winds will be from the northeast uh, at 10 to 15 miles per hour with some higher gusts Tuesday night through Wednesday morning. So this is a typical nor'easter for us here in New Hampshire. And so if we look at the snowfall amounts themselves, we've got um, a wide swath of 7 to 11 inches of snow across northern New England. And then in Massachusetts, a little bit less in the way of snowfall amounts uh, with this particular storm. The reason why we have two maps here is northern New England is uh, governed by the National Weather Service in Gray, Maine, and southern New England is governed by the National Weather Service in Boston. And so Salem being on the border between the two, you can see there is some consensus here in the six to eight inch range. We're looking at probably about seven or so inches in the Salem area. Okay. And so again, what's going to limit the precipitation in southern New England and um, even the Salem area is the sleet and freezing rain. Snowfall amounts could be higher in, if the cold air is able to hold on for a longer period of time, which again, some models are indicating that. Okay. Freezing rain is currently predicted for the Route 2 corridor in Massachusetts, Massachusetts extending through the lower Merrimack River Valley, which does include Salem. Uh, towards southwestern Maine as well. And so you can see here, again, northern New England is spared of the freezing rain and much of the sleet with this event, but there's a possibility of a tenth to possibly two tenths of an inch of ice accumulation on top of the snow. Okay, so double whammy with this one. Now, to wrap up this weather forecast, again, the weather for tomorrow looks relatively hazardous by the end of the day. Okay, Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday um, morning. Be mindful of changing weather conditions. Uh, we haven't been able to buy a storm that has been exclusively snow this entire winter. You can blame the groundhog for that or El Nino, whatever floats your boat, maybe both of them. Again, this isn't the storm of the century, but it's large enough to disrupt travel and other plans. Valentine's Day or Singles Awareness Day for all of us single folk. Look storm free and warmer and then wetter and warmer by Saturday. Wacky weather continues. So this concludes this edition of Salem Weather. Tune in for our next edition when the weather turns bad. Thanks for watching.